In this video, I'll show you how to create pumping effect with Logic Stock plugins. Easiest way to modulate the volume is to use compressor side chaining, but sometimes it just doesn't work the way we want it to. You have probably heard of very popular LFO tool plugin, which is used by many producers. The good news is that you can achieve similar results with Logic Step effects. Here's a part of the track I'll be working with today. Usually you would duck the volume of a bass or a synth pad, and I think in this example I'll try modulating volume of the pad. You can hear that the sound of the pad is very even. I think adding some volume changes to it will make the whole track breathe. Let's open Inspector and find Step Effects plugin in Multi Effects. Step Effects is a powerful multi effect unit that provides deep modulation control. This plugin is often overlooked and to some it might look like a complex tool, but it actually isn't. First I'm going to bypass the modules I won't be using. The filter, reverb, XY pad, and activate the gate mix. In the gate mix I'll reduce step modulators to 1. This will allow me to use envelope instead of step values to shape the sound. Here I can create a shape that ducks the attack and then lets the sustain notes rise in volume, creating classic pumping effect. Next I'll set the rate to quarter notes, and play the sample while making some timing changes. This sounds very close to what I want. Now let's hear it with the rest of the instruments, and fine tune the shape and time. Volume modulation added extra movement to the track and made it sound more interesting. Now let's focus on another part of the track and see how we can use step effects creatively. In this example I'll change the target to master output so we can visually see value changes in real time. And from the LFO presets I'll choose the ramp up shape. Now I can play with the rate knob to get the sound I want. If you look at the master output knob you'll see a blue line which shows your depth of modulation and Y dot that reflects the changes in value. You can set negative depth value, which will effectively reverse the shape. As you can see in this example we didn't use the envelope, but let the steps change master output. You can choose different presets or create your own. Just make sure to connect every step if you don't want to trigger envelope. Now let's add an extra layer to this track. I'm going to activate filter modulation, and on this modulator, I'll be using only one step to trigger the envelope, and give it a fast attack and release to create a plucky sound. I will disable master output modulation to better hear the filter envelope changes. Now let's hear it together and play around with the parameters. Step effects can be used with any type of audio and is capable of subtle or heavy rhythmic enhancement of musical parts that can turn your instrument tracks into something completely new.